action, let's welcome in former Nassau County Executive Laura Curran and former Principal Deputy Press Secretary at the White House, Hogan Gidley. Guys, thanks so much for joining me. So, Hogan, we've been saying for some time now, it's becoming clear, the president is suffering from some sort of cognitive decline. <clears throat> he's mixing up world leaders. He struggles with reading a teleprompter, with speaking in general. Really, he, re, he's... He's struggling with remembering current events as well. But this report, it's pretty damning, saying that his memory has, quote, significant limitations, among other things. So I think it brings up the question of if he's mentally fit to hold this office. And now we're hearing from GOP lawmakers saying that the 25th Amendment should be invoked. Do you see this happening? I don't know that that 25th Amendment invocation is going to happen or not. But listen, this is really, really painful to watch. Um, I have long said, regardless of political party, whoever the president of the United States is, you want them to emit strength. You want the world to see that he is, he or her is, uh, they are in their full mental capacity to, to, to do the job. And there are so many problems here with this president. We've seen this rapid, steep decline. People who know him best, friends of mine here in Washington, D.C., say they're kind of embarrassed to even be around him at this point because when they see him, he's so frail. And that's a sad place. But it's also very dangerous because it invites so many problems, not just here at home domestically, but also internationally. You're seeing that as other leaders begin to test us. This report the DOJ basically said he was mentally incompetent to stand trial. Mm -hmm. So what was he going to do last night? Come out and say, no, no, I am mentally competent, so I should stand trial? Or, hey, I'm not mentally competent at all, so that means I should just be president. I mean, the whole thing is really bad look, not just for this country, but for this president and this White House. Mm -hmm. Serious problems and more questions today than answers. Yeah. Yeah, Laura, here's President Biden addressing special counsel Hur's investigation when he said the president would likely present himself to the jury as sympathetic, well meaning elderly man with a poor memory. Watch. President Biden, something the special counsel said in his report is that one of the reasons you were not charged is because, in his description, you are a well meaning elderly man with a poor memory. I'm well-meaning, and I'm an elderly man, and I know what the hell I'm doing. I've been president, and I put this country back on its feet. I don't need his recommendation. That's How totally bad out. is your memory, and can you continue as president? My memory is so bad, I let you speak. <laughs> so a bit of a comment, a little bit funny moment there. But at the same time, this is a serious matter. How do you see the Democrats spinning this or, or protecting Biden at this point when he is their leading nominee? You know, this is incredibly frustrating because I think there have been very prominent Democrats, strategists, people like David Axelrod and James Carville, who have had big successes with their candidates, come out pretty early and pretty often and saying, guys, this is a serious problem. You can't hide from it. And people know that it's true. People who have elderly parents, people get it. And something that David Axelrod said that I think is very true, and unfortunately very sadly true in this case, is that the most damaging thing is in politics are things that confirm what people already intuit, what they already know. And I mean, I have to agree with Hogan. We have really precarious situations going on around the world. We want to exude strength. We want to exude competence. And... He, I, I haven't seen the man's brain. He may be competent. His team may be competent. But that's not what is being exuded. That is not what is, pe is being seen or, frankly, believed by so many people right now in a very, very dangerous time. Yeah, he's mixed up three world leaders in the last week. Yeah.